Welcome back to the V-Mail. My name is Ken Ezel with Clifton Ezel Clifton Golf Design Group. We thought that it would be important for all the village residents to take a look at the sophistication of how we monitor and develop our water systems out on the golf course. We're sitting at the hub or the brains of the irrigation control system. This is a rainbird system that takes and operates all the heads out on the golf courses individually. We have approximately about 10 holes that are irrigated and ready to go, but this actually turns everything on out in the field and does it in a manner that is uh, very quick and efficient. As we went talked a little bit about the computer, the computer can individually turn on each one of these heads as we move through the whole system. But you can see all the golf course heads that we have out here and they're all individually controlled now. Well, we've, we've moved now from the golf course central control system over to where we have the actual pumping mechanisms here. This is a Flowtronics uh, central control pumping station. Behind us we have three 100 horsepower motors. We also have a five horsepower jockey pump. This will provide us the ability to put out 3,400 gallons of water a minute to be able to operate the golf course irrigation system in about eight hours from start to finish, depending on the maximum amount of water that we would take and, and produce. This is a state-of-the-art building. Um, again, the Villages uh, produces a world-class product and stays on top of the technology that we have available to us today. All right, I'm walking out of the Bonifay Golf Course Irrigation Pump System, and you can hear in the background we had a lot of work going on here. In the background that we have here, we have two different operations going on. One is our artwork shaping. We're shaping on the sixth hole, which is a par five of the Pensacola nine. And we also have our main line piping going in that will connect into the pump stations for this segment of the golf course. When we turn around and we look here, what we're doing here is we're working on the Swicka station. This is where all of the boulevards get irrigated, all of the homes get irrigated. What they're doing is putting in ductile iron pipe with the crane. They're backfilling after getting all of the piping into this pond that's behind us. All of these other ponds that we've been talking about actually come down to this pond in this area of the villages. So this is the lowest pond on the whole golf course and the lowest pond in this particular development. Well, we thought we'd try to conclude this episode of the V-Mail in the construction of Bonifay and a new little feature that we've been able to create since our last time here. Uh, we moved about 180,000 yards of excess material, and in doing so, we created the highest point at the villages, and we're standing on the third tee at Fort Walton. In the background, you're looking at the water tower that's over on the Double Palm Golf Course, and on, on to the northeast of us, you can see the Truman Recreation Site. The boys in the background are putting the sod around the basin, uh, that'll have water in it and well as we're working on the greens construction and finishing that up. We hope to have most all the grassing and all the other work done within the next three to four months and just be in a grow-in mode. So we'll bring you back up here to see everything and how it looks here in the next couple of V-mails. We hope you've enjoyed this V-mail. We'll look forward to seeing you here in a couple of months to talk about uh, another aspect of the Bonifay Country Club. <music>